Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaizu Reich, in which we are playing as a good old United States, in which we're looking a wee bit divided right now, but we're led by the American Caesar, Douglas MacDaddy, but he's got a war plan. General MacDaddy has long been preparing his plans for combating civil unrest. The original war plan wide from the early 20s insists on respect of the Constitution's provisions on states' rights. It said that only the governor could request federal troops to suppress a vote. The situation in the nation now unfortunately requires stronger action, with President MacDaddy's 30-day amnesty deadline yielding few results. It seems that the U.S. needs to prepare for war. There are three plans that have been proposed to the cabinet and the chiefs of the military. First, War Plan White, Yorktown. It recommends abandoning the many military bases on the West Coast, the Rockies, Great Plains, and Midwest, with the withdrawal of federal troops east of the Mississippi. The plan hopes the concentration of federal troops on the eastern seaboard will be able to crush rebellions of Pennsylvania, Carolinas, New England, and Georgia. War Plan White, San Jacinto calls to relocate the government to the Great Plains, along with much of the military, in order to crush resistance in the Pacific states. If properly executed, this will allow us to recapture the mutineering Pacific fleet. And lastly, three, MacArthur's original War Plan White, drafted, drafted late last year, calls holding a corridor from Virginia to whichever states remain low in the Midwest. We hope that our superior organization mobility can quickly crush rebellions before they can link up or begin war production. What should we choose? Now, to be honest here, um, I this is my second attempt doing this. Uh, I raged so hard when I did abandon the planes that I... I almost stopped making videos, but whatever. Um, we don't need to talk about that right now. As you can tell, America's divided, so we're not going to do that one. We're going to do Washington is too vulnerable, retreat to Denver, and yeah, we're going to stay in Denver because I want to see what happens like this. So we'll go that way for this time. I could be wrong, but oh well. But if you would like to read about army reform debate, please go right ahead, and we're going to watch the world burn. Let's see New York City. It seems that foreign agitators were already active in America, as French and British provocateurs and agents have. Uh, inside of New York City's poor boroughs of revolution, many businessmen that could not escape have been lynched, but the mob violence has been quieted by the arrival of trained organizers, both civilian and military. Uh, <clears throat> from Britain and France. The National Guard surrounded the city in a loose siege stretching from Newark to the Yonkers, preventing socialist militia from entering or leaving the city, but not yet attempting to assault on Manhattan. We can wait to order stored in Puerto Rico. While Puerto Rico still labors under federal control, the Puerto Rican government or military has asserted enough control uh, control over its own borders that a semblance of autonomy is not possible. This is not independence, far from it, but it does mean they no longer have to rely on federal troops to secure uh, their borders, and thus are not so tightly under control. Congress remo removes to Denver. The evacuation of the East Coast commenced yesterday as General McCarthy the cabinet and the temporary speaker of the house and many congressmen boarded planes in denver the temporary capital of the u.s many junior members of the government left behind for now are unsure how to react to the situation with some burning conf confidential documents from government ministries and even the library of congress from which the original constitution was flown out to denver protesters in the streets are being suppressed by local police but most of the national guard and army have boarded trains head west this morning general MacArthur addressed the wrong congress in a joint secret joint session outlining his plans for suppressing civil unrest in the west before defeating region long in the east i shall return nice I like that it did get more political power points, which is exceedingly important. So, um, we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, but I'm probably going to go with Sturgis. Yeah. We're going to need more manpower, but yeah. And I guess, like, uh, as some people said on my Discord server, we should probably try to focus on taking out the PSA as fast as possible and then just kind of win that way. The Long Road West. Jim MacArthur's made a decision to abandon the old seat of power on the East Coast, and that means removing everything to Denver and all the armed forces, all the ammo, everything that can be moved via land. We can only that everything will go according to General MacArthur's secret plan and that the traitors to the north and south won't attack our troops when they're retreating westwards. There's no turning back now, guys. Nope. Increased National Guard clashes. America's unity is quickly breaking down as President MacArthur reconsolidates in the west. On one hand, riots in the mid-Atlantic and Appalachian regions are spreading without federal opposition, and it seems that the east might fall to rebels before we can crush the center of the west. On the other hand, though, it seems that the increased unrest on the east coast is obscuring our redeployment west, and even newspapers hostile to the government have not picked up on it. Even better, the rebellious factions in the West and the planes are now facing their own internal disorders, as strikers in Oregon and Washington collide with the National Guardsmen, some of which remain loyal to Denver while others follow the governors and recognizing Sacramento's rebellion and Texan loyalist militia up muster in San Antonio. Good news, perhaps. I don't want to click on that yet. Oh, wow, look at all this demilitarized stuff. That's a lot of demilitarized all over the place here, which is fine. I do want to be able to get uh, uh, this, uh, these divisions, too. So we keep this open for now. We'll still get uh, militia in Virginia and passing through Chattanooga. Federal divisions had to pass through the city of Chattanooga, Tennessee, by train in order to reach Denver. Despite the city being right at the border with Mississippi, currently controlled by the southern traders, their troops reached Missouri without having to fire a single shot. This was possible thanks to the longest general staff preparing an attack on North Carolina, seeing as a weaker area that would be more valuable to secure. In this way, our forces traveled west without suffering a single loss, all according to the plan and deadline looms. The 30-day deadline issued by the federal government is almost at an end. With none of the sites having stood down, indeed, as clear the rebellious states have used the intervening time to raise militias throughout their controlled areas, meaning a civil war will be a difficult fight indeed. What shall come? Armed doctrinal debate? 
With the outbreak of the American Civil War, the Army High Command has been thrown into chaos. Not only is there a reform plan to deal with the uh, imminent crisis necessary, but also urgent as the rebellious states threatened the unity of America, luckily for us. Several staff members had already been advocating for a reform plan since the early 20s, and had been summoned by the High Command to a meeting to, for them. To lay out their plans, after a session full of army formalities, forced our General Malin Craig presented a restructuring mobilization plan which would focus on trying to arm as many men as possible while improving and enhancing the high command and have an edge in planning over our enemies. While many conservative members applied his traditional stance, Major General Adnan R. Chaffee criticized his stance, quoting several instances in which planning and mass mobilization didn't earn the victory to the French in the Valkyrie, and instead advocating for the adoption of the Thunderbolt. Fast moving arms supporting themselves and motorized and mechanized elements to quickly exploit enemy weak points. While both sides got gridlock into a discussion of radically different plans, Major General Leslie McNair offered an alternative solution. The American strength lies with its industry, and it's clear that in order to win, that strength should be exploited to its fullest. For that, he proposes restoration of the late 1920s and early 30s artillery examination boards and the development of anti-air and anti-tank batteries to counteract enemy divisions on this front. After hours of discussion, a decision is made. McNair, just because I want to make sure we get some superior firepower. So, I'll restart examining boards. Uh, actually, no, I'll send to them first. I want to get some guns. Standardized M1. The M1 designation infantry we weapon has been in trial for years, wasting contracts. The final decision on which design will go into production will be answered in a timely manner now. Increased National Guard clashes. America's unity is quickly breaking down as President MacArthur reconsolidates on the West. Uh, on the one hand, riots in the Mid-Atlantic and Appalachian regions are spreading without federal opposition. Seems that the East might fall to rebels. Um, oh, wait, did I read this one? Oh, my bad. Good news, perhaps. Oh, that's because we were waiting the entire time. There we go. We got those divisions. Oh, we just saw them appear. Oh, they they got literally transferred. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so nice. Good news, yes. So now, we lost all these guys, which really sucks. We can't even get New England, which is stupid, because that's probably going to follow the Reds, which is stupid. Whatever. Oh, why not get Nevada? If we can get Missouri, too, before the Civil War starts in 12 days, that'd be really good. That'd be... Federalist militia see southern Texas. Oh, while the state of Texas has firmly declared its allegiance to Huey Long, forces loyal to the federal government have been in hot contention for control and so far have managed to obtain victory through the southern regions of the state. Governor James Allred has been declared a traitor by southern mayors, who appears determined to face off against their brethren and the rest of the state, which should the Civil War begin in earnest. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah, you guys can stop training. Because, okay, how many divisions do the, does the PSA have? Because I've been told that they should be relatively, oh, they're not weak. Arkansas River Campaign. After Southern Texas, Arkansas and Oklahoma, too, have been overrun by Federalist militias. Despite the governor's declaring support for Huey Long, with both these states and San Antonio firmly in federal hands, Houston and Austin will probably fall soon, and MacArthur will have access to the Texan oil fields for its army. We need to move quickly before Pan reinforces its position. This looks really disgusting for these guys. Japan sees Guam with American uh, turmoil. Japan has moved on to the island of Guam. There's very little that the U.S. government can do to stop Japan at this point. Too bad. Troops across Mississippi. While Governor Stark of Missouri has been aligned with Huey Long for the past few elections in view of the army of federal militia and soldiers pouring into a state to spread out west, he has condemned the Baton Rouge government for an attempted dictatorship and affirmed his loyalty to President MacArthur. With almost all land west of the Mississippi north of the Texas secure, the federal troops are now readying for an envelopment of Texas and a strike across the Rockies against Sacramento. Our position in the west seems secure. The advance begins here. We and Buddhists. The fall. Oh my god! How? This. That's no. Okay, this is stupid. I don't like this. This is too stupid. The fall of Houston. As expected, loyalist militias from San Antonio and Oklahoma have overrun the disorganized longest militias in Houston and Austin before General Denver's could reinforce its positions. Dallas fell quickly after, and with the fall of those three key cities, all of Texas is firmly under federal control. Now, Governor James Otter has been captured before he could escape. Baton Rouge is close now. This is stupid. No, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Just because whenever you leave in Washington, it's almost impossible to win as the feds. But this is too much. We get the entire state of Texas. I, I'm sorry, no. I can't believe that at all. That makes no sense. You make that make these guys way too weak. If anything, you have to weaken the CSA way more to make it more balanced. Way, 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 way more. You have to strip away like pretty much. Uh, I said this in the video that I'm, not, I'm never going to publish because it was so bad and I raged so hard. The states here need to be divided up more. Yeah, we have Texas in two, which honestly might not even be enough. Like this is this is a massive area of Texas. The southern portion of Texas is massive too. Illinois, like you can make it a. a a, uh, a debate, conversation, that you should separate, like, some of these cities, like Springfield, and, like, of course, Chicago. Chicago should be its own thing. Detroit should be its own thing, realistically. Milwaukee and Madison may, might be combined into one. Even Minneapolis and St. Paul, but, like, or separating their own little stuff, but, like, it doesn't make sense sometimes to have, like, Ohio one massive state. You, you could literally split Ohio into four quarters quadrants. You could split Pennsylvania into more than just two states. Like, at least three separate provinces. Michigan as well. This is stupid. Why, why do we get all? Why do we weaken the American United States so much? Yet we still have these guys super empowered. It literally makes no sense. But chaos in the East. 
As the troops left, everything east of the St. Louis Cal opted into total anarchy, as we expect longest and syndicalist militias to divide the spoils in the east. However, that means they'll be busy fighting each other, and we can fo fully focus on dealing with the Pacific rebels for now. We'll take California soon. Yeah, I get that we get this, but these guys need to be weakened even further. North, Car er, North Carolina declares for he belong. Newly elected North Carolina Governor Clyde Howey, ever since seeing federal troops leaving the East Coast, has pledged to support for Huey Long's government. Seeking both protection from syndicalist forces in the North and protection from the riots that plagued the states since when General MacArthur's forces left. In this way, however, General Pan's forces are incredibly close to the strategic city of Norfolk, and now a race for whoever can seize Virginia first has begun. The race for Virginia has begun? The race for Virginia has begun! I really don't like this. This, is, this makes it too easy. Well, I, don't sh I should say that yet, but like, it makes it... It's just, why do, why, why do you have to weaken these guys? I mean, they're, they're going to swallow this stuff up too, which makes sense. And this looks like really, actually really nice, but yeah, no. If, the Reds are too strong, in my opinion, still. The rest of Virginia, earlier this morning, General Butler's force was repelled by, from Richmond by General Patton's forces after surprisingly crossing a large distance in a short amount of time compared to the syndicalist forces. With this victory, Virginia's firmly under Huey Long's control for now. Not our business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Arkansas is three. We got four here. We get seven. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to make an army for Huey Long's group over here. So any, all the Texans... Oh, look, that's not bad. Oh, and pa Yeah, this is more right, yeah. Maybe I made too many comments too quickly, but like this, they had to get all of this. Scramble for the corridor. It interferes fighting Long as forced to control of Tennessee and Kentucky, making important gains against Seneca's forces. With new development, host forces hostile General MacArthur control everything east of the Mississippi, Mississippi River. The Mississippi River will be covered in blood again. Creation of the Office for Emergency Management. With the outbreak of the Civil War, the President dispatched a creation of via ex executive order. Often offices that function to assist the President in clearing information on immediate defense measures. With it, the Office for Emergency Management has been born to maintain a liaison with national defense agencies and according to the National Defense Program, as well as keep both the Army and Navy in direct contact with the President. However, the mass of agencies, offices, and commissions we have generated in the last few decades continue to grow, and many agree that a government should start looking into ways of reducing the amount of offices and increasing the efficiency of existing ones. For now, this will do. And we're probably going to at least get one thing of Millie's here, so... But yeah, the red flag over Washington. As the forces of both self-proclaimed presidents, Reed and Long, battle on the borders of Virginia, SBLI militias finally reach a band in Washington, the city completely empty of any military presence, was taken easily with historic landmarks and rivers over the Potomac to Alexandria, being secured by a militia first. Since there seemed to be no sign of a counter-assault, the militia soon began transforming the National Mall and other sites, with the most attention being paid to the Capitol. Hauling down the old flag from the home over, over the flag Congress, soldiers paused for photographs and interviews with socialists and local newspapers, were gathered to show over the flag of the CSA being raised over D.C. at last. The Capitol must be liberated soon. So who's going to get New England then? Okay, at least Canada got New England. The socialist push in D.C. seem to have given the British Empire toward North the idea that they are a serious threat. They have accepted the request for protection by the governors of New England, and they are now eyeing the socialists over the border. CSA forces were unable to make any headway before encountering Canadian troops. The state of New Jersey, however, has fallen to the militia and international allies in New York City. Before we can reinforce it, at least the socialists didn't take Boston. MacArthur repels CSA assault in Minnesota. Though the SBA captured the state legislature of Minnesota in the 36th election, though unable to make any good on the promise of a socialist Minnesota as Governor Peterson of the Farmer Labor Party used the state's National Guard to hold out in Minneapolis long enough for MacArthur's soldiers to reach a state and repel the militia from Wisconsin and crush the strikers in Minnesota itself. President Reed has been stymied in Minnesota in the West, and his newly formed command staff is reportedly considering southern and eastern strikes instead to push their advantage against Huey Long. Next up, Chicago? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I like this version of Kaiserreich. This is just... Uh... I don't know, it's just not... This This just doesn't make sense to me. Like, American Union State, they gotta have Texas and Arkansas. Like, that does not make any sense. If you're gonna have something like this here. This, this makes some more sense, at least to me. Maybe, I mean, like I said earlier, I wish these states would split up more. Like, if you had to get Minneapolis and St. Paul, like, that, then that would go with the CSA. That would make more sense. Maybe even St. Louis as well. Like, this is just, this is set up just to be uh, friendly to the player. Like, that's what it makes it feels like right now. We're just friendly to the player. And the Second American Civil War has just started. Uh, the war begins in Oregon. What? Uh, what? You know, I usually am a guy that likes to have a pretty easy campaign and, and not struggle at all. But even I'm saying this is too much. But, whatever. With the withdrawal of the federal government west, it was obvious that the General MacArthur intended to strike the Pacific states first, seeing them as the most isolated threat. Coming over the Rocky Mountains with the last snows of winter, the 2nd and 14th Army Divisions commenced an organize, organized attack on Washington, and the southern part of Washington. The National Guardsmen in those states either sided with President MacArthur or forced to surrender. The forces of the Denver government soon took Portland and Yakima, and the governors of Washington and Oregon surrendered to save themselves from cynicalist agitation and war. The 3rd, 2nd, and 14th Divisions are now prepared to take California, but the Californians have already begun its counterattack, just as the Union strikes towards Arkansas once more and the CSA moves on North Carolina. 
All across the Splinter Faction Nation, the Splinter Factions have seen their chance to begin offensive operations against the all-competing governments. And from Minnesota to North Carolina, from New York City to New Mexico, skirmishes and civil unrest have at last escalated to battles and clear that all of the American Civil War has begun. California alone cannot resist us, and I completely abandoned the other uh, coast, but I do not care right now. We're going to murder all, every single Californian here. Well, all right, everybody, I'm going to eat my words right now. Uh, you know how we only had California to fight? Well, apparently, because they're split into four states, according to the devs themselves, as I had someone actually talk to them, each one of these get, like, somewhere between five to ten divisions each, so they spawn around with 30-ish divisions, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't beat them. With all of the army that we had, we couldn't go into California and beat them up as we're supposed, as we're spo apparently supposed to be able to when we go with the uh, Denver plan. Uh, so, I use Cons Commands. I delete the enemy division because we lost 155,000 against a bunch of PSA members. Well, they only took like 50,000 casualties. Go figure, you know, the combined strength of Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, all of Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Dakotas, Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Arkansas. It wasn't good enough to take out Texas. Or not Texas, but at least take out California. So. According to the devs, you shouldn't be able to take out California immediately. California should have more soldiers than the entire U.S. federal government. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So that's why I use cons commands. And also, I use cons commands to uh, stop the, the Reds from pushing as hard as possible against us. But as you can see, I finished off a lot of the you know, military part of the focus tree. I've been through them before. I'm not really interested in, in a lot of their stuff right now. It is what it is. It's pretty pretty normal stuff. Um, other than that, like, I'll be honest. I, I had I had literally half the CSA's... Uh, army just so we could survive just because this was taking so long and we couldn't do anything about it like literally just california just california we had southern california pretty much under wraps and this is one of the states that i thought you know we could probably do if it's just california sure they got a pretty you know pretty decent you know population a pretty decent industrial base but with all these states combined especially with having all of texas as well you think it might be fairly balanced, but, ah, balance, the Kaiserreich devs don't like balance, at least for the American Civil War at all. So, honestly, the American Union State, I think, is good where it's at, just because they pushed us, but they were able to be pushed back. There's a little bit of give and take between us and them. I think they're in a really good spot. The Reds, I've said this before, Kaiserreich, Kaiser Redux, they're overpowered. They have infinite manpower, infinite, you know, supplies and weapons, to the point where you have to delete them to have some sort of chance, like we do have right now. So... I ate those words from earlier. My bad. My fault for that, but... At the same time, the guys are like devs. They love California so much, you can't beat them. You're going to lose, especially if the Canadians or the Entente favors them. So, yeah, if you want to play the feds, I don't recommend playing this American Civil War ever. Yeah. I'll use Cons Commands like I did because it, it sucks. Now, I'm so, sure some of you guys are better than me in playing Hoi 4 in general, but, like... If, you, if you're just as good as I am, or as bad as I am... There's nothing you can really do. It just sucks because I I want to I want to enjoy this. This is one of the most um let's say historic, but one of the interesting things about Hoi Four, like playing Kaiserreich, playing the American Civil War, it's definitely something all Hoi Four all Hoi Four players should play sometime. But I can't recommend it, man. I just can't recommend this. It's not fun. And I make sure that I convert all the divisions to 40 combos as well, except for like one tank division. And so we're just kind of sitting here, just trying to get more guns, get a lot more artillery, trying to get some more uh, infantry equipment and support equipment and stuff like that. But the devs love a very, very strong California, which they should have some strength. They should have quite a bit of strength. Don't get me wrong. California should have some strength. But the, if the intent is to capitulate them quickly, well, the devs don't know what they're doing then. But we'll do the best we can against the Reds. The longest, the American Union State, they're trying to hold out as best, as you can see, best they can against the CSA. It just... I don't know what happened to the CSA. Back in the olden days. I have to go back to the olden days where... Uh, you try to do well against these guys, but... Yeah. I like to be fair. I like to be honest about this. I use cons command, so... Just let you all know that this run is... I won't say dirty, but just... Not completely clean. You gotta love it. All states ultimatum? Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. I don't care. I really don't care at this point. I hate I hate the Civil War, whether it's in Kaiser Redux. I know, I'll play the Civil War again in Kaiser Redux sometime, just because I like playing as a, uh, a constitutional American Republic. But it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So, uh, Beachcraft. You know what? Let's go with that one. I never choose something like that. 
and expand some dockyards, why not? Southern Texas could use a little bit of love. Now we try General Tech, that'd be pretty costly. We're also on extensive conscription now, so... But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Should we go with our dirty run? Should we go with a Cincinnati or American Caesar versus Democracy Triumphs? Oh, can we not do both? Oh. American Caesar, yeah. Caesar or Democracy. I'll let you guys decide, so. Uh, Iron Fist, of course, back in business. We'll see what we do, but we're not going to join the Entente. I'm going to make sure we murder the Entente. Because, well, they made it very difficult for us. And I don't like having it it's so difficult that you can't win. Even if we push a little bit. Can we still win here? Against the American Union front. Uh, yeah, or American Union state, I should say. Yeah, definitely. Against these guys. It's... It's about where I expected. 40 combat with now our guys aren't fully supplied, of course. We do have issues with, like, making sure we have enough equipment and stuff like that. And we have enough manpower, but even then, as you can tell, still not good enough. And here are the casualties as well. 200,000 versus, yeah, about the same amount. About the same amount. It's not too bad. But yeah, just... The devs have put it to be in such a way that I'm going to probably going to be blacklisted from them. And that's okay with me. Because if they don't like balance, then so be it. So be it. Two Sicilies join the Reichs back, so be it, so be it. Would you like to come to Pierre? But yeah, they... Off screen, like, they were pushing hard, hard against us. And I'm like, there's nothing you can do. If we just focus so hard in California, which you can't capitulate, you're just going to lose. So, no point doing that. Uh, build up some more here. Eventually build up some of the roads, too. You know, I'd love to see the... You know what? I'd love to see the Kaiserreich devs do the exact same thing. Show us how to capitulate California early on. Show us. Early on. How do you capitulate California when you do the Denver plan? How's that supposed to go? I'd love to see a live stream of that. Love to see it. Oh, in Arizona. Eh, trade your opinion factor. Eh... Eh, stuff's okay. Expand dockyards, very nice. Uh, free trade. Well, it's kind of hurting our resources. Let's drop it by one level. Let's go to export focus. Expand some dockyards. Have a good time with that. Uh, Liberty ships, might as well. Might as well. Oh, quite a bit more steel. Very nice. We could probably go ahead and get some chromium instead. Oh, the Russian state exists. Oh, that's nice. Also, like, to let you know, I did not set up, like, any previous, like, country directions. Like, uh, if you want to buy that, please go ahead. Army Rangers. But, like, I did not set this up for anyone to go any certain direction this is all completely random no game rules or anything like that just pretty much tried and true nothing different anything unique nothing pre-planned actually I, for the video i wanted to show you guys i actually pre-planned so that we would get new england but for this campaign no not at all so this is all raw all natural for better or for worse of course can we win here can 40 combat with infantry divisions win here with neutral air. Neutral air. Against three divisions, of course, we are fighting a little bit over a river. But can we win? And of course, they would have level five, skill five, general, of course. Robert, Sharon, whatever his face is, Alan. And he has a decryption advantage. Go figure. American recruitment? Huh. Please. Uh, I might as well grab that, because you'll need that eventually. At this point, I just don't care. I don't care. It's this this mod just has pissed me off way too much. One of the staples has just gone off the rails. Oh, devs, what have you done to yourselves? Um, there you go. Do that. Oh, no, Mal. Give him a little bit of love. Let's take a look here. Six, 60 to 159. 85 to 129. Also, like, if you're play, ever playing as a federal government... Especially if you do the Virginia plan. Always keep an eye on the maximum supported divisions of the limit. Now, I would recommend for a person player, for an actual person player, take it off. Because it's arbitrary and hurts you so badly that you can't really do much. What the heck is going on over here? Why do you have a boot? Are they pushing? They, they must be pushing against us. But yeah. No, no, they're not pushing. No, they're pushing against the Cynicalists, but they're pushing against us. The Mau Mau War, and you guys are pushing against us. Yes, pushing against the Feds. Well, we'll see. So we need a lot more artillery, but we're doing quite a bit better on artillery now. 
I didn't cheat for artillery either. Like, it's all natural artillery. Like, there's no way. The only thing I cheated was deleting enemy PSA divisions and the CSA divisions too because the CSA just gets way too much. I just get too much. Balance? I didn't need any balance in the Kazakh Civil War. Totally not. Totally not. What divisions typically do they have? They're just infantry. Huh. Go figure. They're holding up very well against 40 combo with divisions. Like, these are the divisions everyone is right now. Nothing special. Try two 40 combo with. So. So I do apologize for being like ragey or like when I first fade and fade out, but like. <sighs> if it gives me too much trouble at this point with being on YouTube and stuff, like. I give up. Like, I I'm not going to waste time. I've wasted enough time doing some other stuff, so. Oh, you need operative capture, huh? But yeah, it's just not fun. If it's not fun, I'm not gonna do it. Um, not bad. Light tanks, armor. Eh, why not? Unit operative capture. No, logistics are very nice. How about 1940 stuff? Research. I think we're already doing. Get some better planes, perhaps. Oh no, let's get some better research. That'd be very nice. <clears throat> Baton Rouge. Yeah, the American Union State is almost never an issue. Usually they're the ones struggling quite a bit. So, it's always the CSA that has... They're doing resistance suppression, huh? You know, even if I deleted their divisions... Why don't they have enough manpower? They're on extensive conscription. Oh, you guys are in service by requirement. That makes sense why you're in a million then. Like, if you delete their divisions, they still get that manpower back, so... But God, do I hate the Reds so much. Now I want to get up here and then we'll go push. And just make more artillery for ourselves, so. Uh, better fighters, yes please. Planets Valonia. And here medium tanks would be nice eventually as well. Give us a little bit of time. One a day is not bad. Creating the waves. Do we get some more ship repair speed, which I do think is pretty good. Do lose some stability, but whatever. And 60,000 more manpower does help us out quite a bit. Very nice. And that's what we're here, actually. Let's push against the Cynicus first. And there we go. Let's see what we can do. I've, I've given up on the whole Civil War here. Naval training or expand the Marine Corps? We'll go with naval training. I've just given up on this. It's not fun, and if it's not fun, I'm not doing it. And if the devs don't like it, well, they can eat dirt. I'm sorry, but they, they piss me off. Like, the complete unbalance here has pissed me off way too much. Carrier fighters, thank you. Yeah. We started off with all of Texas. Bench Exos intervened in the Valkyrie. That's nice. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Washington, Oregon. Then Idaho, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Wyoming, Washington. And I get it. A lot of the states don't have, even have a million men. Men or people in it. But you have both Dakotas, which has 1.4 million co combined. Nebraska, you got Kansas, you got Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, all of Texas, and it's still not enough to defeat California. I'm sorry, man, but. So 3.7 plus that much is about 4.4. 4.4 plus that much will say it's about 4.7. And 4.7 plus. Uh, 4.7 million plus 1.7 mil 6 million. 4.7, 5.7, 6 6.6 million. Still, has, still had a bigger army than us. Go figure. As a federal government, still had a bigger army. So, take that for what you will. Yeah. Maybe I cheated too hard to get to CSA, but I don't care. I don't. At this point, I just want to see what the content afterwards. Yeah, they're definitely fighting against us. Yeah, anyone have upgrades? Yeah, Daniel Van Voorhees. Van Voorhees. There you go. Have fun with that. Oh, yeah, we're not even making any divisions because we didn't have any manpower earlier. Not as much manpower as California, as some of the devs would say. So, 
<sighs> oh, what do you want? Your separate five? Sure, why not? You could probably make some marines. Why not? Marines are always nice to have. Got plenty of army uh, XP. We'll probably need to use them later on. I'm not sure what we're going to do, except I will murder the entire Anton. I will burn every single place to the ground, as you can tell from the thumbnail. Especially Mexico, but they're not the Anton right now. And they never will be, because I'm going to kill them all off. Canada's going to burn. It's going to burn hard. Uh, logistics would be nice. Uh, I'll grab some of that, too. Anything else there? Maybe we'll use that. We'll see what happens. Goodbye. Uh, Moon Divisions, there you go. Sitting down Houston. Pretty hot, but that's okay. Uh, like Loyalist Cavalry, this stuff doesn't matter. Armor, we probably keep that stuff. Infantry Divisions, no, nope, nope. Thank you. Louisiana, goodbye. Ah, oh, yes. 40 combo, let's can't do anything here. Good. Exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. You're gonna force the attack, son. You die, you die. Oh, recruit more state, more uh, soldiers. Sure, why not? Simple five is pretty darn nice. Madison. Oh, look at that encirclement, huh? Well, it looks like we should probably go ahead and pause all them attacks there. Give them a little bit of time. I <sighs> gotta love Paradox. Come on, there you go. That's better. Give us a little more time to get some more planning, get some more equipment. We ran out of guns. We're still out of artillery, some support equipment. You know, all the normal stuff. All the normal stuff. Let's see. What else can we throw on our guys here? You all are just kind of hanging out as naval bombers, not really being able to do too much, which is fine. No, what happens? Uh, land bombardment, eh? There you go. More bombardment. You guys, fighter groups, go on over there if you possibly can. Thank you very much. Oh, more divisions? Nice. Thanks for the guns. Non-consolidated state, so that kind of sucks. And anything else besides cruiser holes? Maybe not, but that's all right. Go right there. Let's see. Can five oh, somewhat strengthened uh, 40 count with divisions do anything here? Maybe. Just maybe. Still pushing against the longest. Oh, no, the syndicalists. Oh, okay. I'll go back in. See what you can do. See what you can do. Semper Fi and follow it up with improve the Marine Corps mine as well. We do what we would like to use some of these Marines. Yeah, we might not win here too easily, but still. Um, how are you guys? Do you guys. Yeah, I was wondering about this here, huh? All right. Oh, yeah, Sinclair, let's just keep holding out. Oh, look. They're doing force defense. We love it. Oh, and there goes the push against some Sinclair's boys. Push along his front. Dance, we're still attacking him as well. Louisiana. Not bad. Get you some carrier stuff too. Do we have any? Um, carrier fighters, carrier naval bombers. We need some more rubber though. MacArthur tax the navy. With more and more government funding being diverted to the navy, chief of staff MacArthur has taken up a severe accusation of the Secretary of Defense, who believes the recent investments on the navy are part of a plot that he discovered in the early 30s, where the navy would dominate the army in the field and just turn the army into a subordinate garrison force. While the secretary managed to calm the general down and reassure him that the army's role in the battlefield would always come first, word of the meeting has gone out, and many admirals, including MacArthur's 
Look at him. Uh, bitter rival Admiral Hart already sending letters asking for MacArthur's resignation. While the relations between MacArthur and the Navy have been bad for years, this is yet another sad example of how the inner service robbery has done nothing but grown in the past few years. What's wrong with him? We won't win battles by bickering. Floyd Olson passes away on today. Unfortunate news. It was received from the Minnesota home of former Governor Floyd Olson. The Olson household revealed that he had died from stomach cancer that had reoccurred. This comes as a shock as many had believed this cancer was cured. A great loss. Oh, that's unfortunate for a man. It sucks. Yeah, I don't feel bad about this. You, you, you guys have no idea how much I've struggled with this stupid American Civil War off screen. Like, it's so bad that I don't care anymore. I just don't. It's just unbalanced and not fun. So, exactly what the devs intended. 40. You know, and some of you might be asking, so if you don't like enjoy this, Mr. Mocha Lover, why do you even play this? Because I was sort of conscripted to, sort of. I mean, I want to do well, but like, if things get too just like, in a situation you just can't win, I give up with it because there's no point trying. So, I don't want to be negative in my videos, but man, sometimes you gotta face reality in, the, in its face. It's ugly, ugly face. And just kind of give up and say, hey, you know what? Oh well. Tried your best. Got me to France. The Germans are, uh, well, they're doing stuff, huh? Seven cops kind of hanging out. Carl. Carl's over there. Shocking off? Sure, why not? Got me to France. Crew of the Marine Corps, might as well. Battle cruiser development, might as well. Uh, over here. Nope, not even going to use you. Don't even bother me with you. Don't even care. Illinois, I'm gonna burn it. I hate Illinois. I got charged fifteen dollars the other day for using just driving on the roads. It wasn't even a toll road. I got charged fifteen dollars. Yeah, Illinois. Not even once, man. Not even once. Just driving, it wasn't even a toll road. Actually, am I using uh, command power here? Ah, the deal with the devil? Okay, it makes no difference, they'll both lose. So they both want to try to kill us off. Okay, it makes sense. You guys. There you go. Yo, look at this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We have to capitulate the American Union state first. That's stupid. The, the devs do not test their mod at all, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh, that is just, that is just great. I love it. I love it. They just don't test it. They don't test things. Like, if anything, like, if you conquer the territory, so it will be it, but, like, make it... Like, it might have more sense. Give this to the CSA. Give this part. Or just give it all to the CSA, because they technically took this, right? So just give this to the CSA as well. Why, why does the American Union say get that, and then we don't can't take Washington? I don't understand. Uh, I guess Indiana next, huh? There we go. De Louisiana. It's fine, whatever. Uh, we're just going to convert you over to 40s. There you go. Don't care, don't care. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it just a wee bit. Cut him off through the Detroit and you'll be great. We would like Detroit, though. That'd be very nice. Fall of Detroit, nice. Nice, 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 nice. You guys gotta flood up through here. Ain't no waiting here, man. Ain't no waiting here. What's up over here? Anything over here? Recruit states, put down resistance, of course off recruit five militia divisions in Michigan. It's fine, whatever. Let them attack us. Whatever. Um, we need the guns and stuff. We're gonna delete those divisions for now. Bad cruiser development's very nice. Fourth of July, if you liked it about that, please go ahead. Honor duty country. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Anyone else have upgrades? Battle cruiser development, battleship development. Might as well. What else are you gonna do while you're waiting for the Civil War to get over with? Ah, oh, they're attacking us. That's kind of nice. 
Y'all keep holding on. Don't lose too much. Don't lose too much. Yeah. Totally makes sense. We're not going to split Ohio into any different parts of the states. Definitely not like a Cleveland area and a Northwest area and a Southwest, Southeast. Not going to split up Georgia at all, especially with like Atlanta by itself. Oh, we're starting to lose. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. Now we're going to live there. That's very nice. Very nice. Well, oh, continue attacking us. Whatever. Actually, hold on. That's not. Yeah, I mean. Unless they have military access. Are they literally, literally all starving? So. Thanks, devs. Thanks a lot. Push against as long as it's done, huh? Pure militia in Kentucky? Might as well. Let's get our divisions down here south to uh, Ohio first, and uh, then we'll continue to keep going. Oh, they're attacking us. Look at that. That's so nice. We're still out of guns and artillery, but artillery could be a lot worse. And honestly, support is doing quite a bit better as well. I just want to get these guys over there first. Or not. Okay, then. Five, four, three, two. Uncertain times. Let's go. I don't want to wait any longer. Oh, we have no, nothing there. Okay, cool. Whatever. Where are you guys focused at? Nowhere. Okay, that's great. That's great, guys. Thanks. I love, I love that they don't give a military access and they can just do this. Like, I didn't even realize that earlier. <sighs> it just warms your heart when you see stuff like that. It's going to be a pain in the butt taking New York City, too. Of all things, they separated New York City away from everyone else. But they split this into three parts for a stupid island. But they can't figure out, and they split California into four parts. They can't figure out, like, Ohio or Michigan or even Illinois. Like, it might be Springfield and Chicago might be its own thing. That's it. Or even Indiana, like Gary should be part, you know, part of Greater Chicago Land, or at least could in theory. I love it. Absolutely love it. Five, 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 five. <laughs> Just why? Ah, uh, Ireland supports us. Wow, good things, Ireland. The Irish government, seeing us as a bulwark against cynicalism, has sent us volunteers to assist in a fight. Aaron Goldberg. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not Irish, but orders restored to Wisconsin. That's nice. I do like light cruisers too. Excellent news. Thanks, Wisconsin. Thanks for playing. We appreciate your dedication. My nipples are cold, anyways. Oh no, we can't win here against the longest. I don't care. I want to kill off every last red there is first. First, oh, I don't want these divisions. I hate these divisions. They're so bad. Ah, now we're fighting the longest. Okay, we got rid of a lot of the reds here then. 53, nice. Very good. Very good. Order Sword of Michigan. Ah, that's very nice as well. Honestly, can we just like build in some of these areas just so that we can get some, some more supplies through here? We'll probably need to... Actually, we already have logistic companies on here. I mean, they are 40 combo with what do you expect, but still. Put down resistance here, then probably Ohio. It'd be good to make Ohio a core as well. Ohio, thanks for playing. We got. We need your guns right now, really badly. And a few artillery pieces you might have, too. Oh, Indiana, very nice, too. Oh, very good. Nice. Oh, they have one fuel in Indiana. One oil. A whole oil in Indiana. Even though I live there, I never knew they even did any sort of oil production there. Doesn't seem like a state that would, but... Whatever. Huh, Whatever. Get some of that good stuff going. Get some more better casts. Let's get some more uh, artillery pieces going. Get some more of that stuff too. All oh, super important stuff, you know. Of course, oh, raise militia divisions in Mississippi. Complain about the Kaiserreich devs a little bit more. Have a good time. Sub development, 400,000. That's quite a bit. Y'all, half a million. 25 divisions. 100 divisions, not bad. So even with like basically cheating or deleting like divisions, still taking us to 1940. Oh, suppress resistance. Oh yes, please. Um, Ohio. I prefer Ohio over Illinois, and that isn't saying very much, honestly. Michigan ain't too bad, depending on where, where you're at. Come on, Long. Why are you protecting them Reds? Better dead than red. 
a whole militia division in West Virginia. Goodbye, thank you. Baton Rouge. Very hot down there. Very, very hot. Since we're down here, let's do that. Haiti equipment arrives. Thanks, Haiti. Our friends in Haiti have sent us a shipment of infantry equipment to aid in our struggles. Much needed. Much, much needed. If we could separate them, oh my goodness, that would be delicious. Well, let's do some sub stuff. Why not? Some machine gun stuff. That seems pretty great as well. My nipples were just freezing. Anyway, sorry about my nipple talk. But, like, this has been a very weird episode for me. So, let's see. Which way is Mexico going? I hope they join the Entente. Or they'll join the Third International. And I still want to kill them all off. Nice. Ooh, we can take this tower or this tile. Then these guys will be completely cut off up here. That's pretty decent. That's pretty nice. Ooh, yes. Wait, we can't do this yet? Oh, we need full control of these guys. Oh, this is Illinois then. Thanks, West Virginia. Catch you later. Thanks for the manpower. Thanks for the guns. We appreciate it. Oh, look at that. Bant Rouge, Nolens. Cancel lanes, that sucks. But yeah, uh, they're going to send out a lot of uh, convoys through here. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, daddy, please. Three convoys. Oh, so nice. Mm, cast. We could definitely use more cast. Oh, never mind. We got plenty of cast. Ooh, I like this. The Russian state declared war on those folks. Nice. Crisis on the dawn. Oh, well. Oh, Tallahassee. That was pretty nice. Have you broken through to almost DC area? Yeah. That's nice. Anyone else have upgrades? Five, 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 six. Five. That's pretty nice. Collapse of the Union. Goodbye, Union. And there goes that good old American Union state, which I will play as again sometime. But not anytime soon, because I don't like the American Civil War, and I think it's in desperate need of a rework. But that's probably just me. All right. Head on up. Columbia to come and arrive. Thanks, Columbia. We appreciate you. Now, if you're in the Entente, I'm going to find you, and I'm going to murder you in your sleep. With a smile on my face. Thanks, guys. Oh, old... oh these... actually, hold on. These guys are not bad. Oh, we got the Marines. Nice. Thank you. There you go. Do the best you guys can. We appreciate your service to the country. And I'm going to burn it to the ground. Oh, what happened here? Hey, we also destroyed in exchange for seven. Yeah, that's that's worth it. Anything else here? Oh, we got some medium tanks as well. Oh, 15 divisions. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. I follow me division. Awesome. Actually, do you have the Marine? No. Do you have the Marine? No. Do you have the Marine? Yeah, you do. <sighs> Better dead than red. Uh, actually, if you can get to New York City right now. Oh, come on. They found us. If you get to New York City right now, that'd be great. Push against Cinecloss. Oh, that sucks. It ended right now. Centralized fire control. Go and do that too. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, Screaming Eagles program. Might as well. Bulgaria, thank you very much. We'll take that from here. Oh, and the collapse of the American syndicates. Well, New York City, not bad. And I'm gonna murder every single last on top member there possibly is. I'm gonna murder off New England first. Um, but you know, you catch them. You catch them my drift properly. Cool. Thank you very much. But yeah, I do apologize for having to use uh, cons commands. I don't want to use cons commands. I've said it before. I hate using them. But at the end of the Second American Civil War, the enemies of America have been destroyed once again. The South has been passed by the Syndicus menace has been suppressed. The threats of the American way of life have been destroyed, and the great system designed so wisely by the founding fathers have survived another threat. Now across the country, the people can rejoice and celebrate a new era of peace. Down with the traitors, up with the stars. Nice. Trade with Ireland? The Irish government suggests the possibility of opening trade between the two countries. Whose relations have been lukewarm due to our Great Depression and Ireland's pro-German alignment? Ah, uh, cancel that one. Can't hurt anyone, right? We love the Irish here. Cool. And we got rid of a lot of stuff here, so, uh, victory in the Civil War. Separatists have again failed in their mission to destroy the Union of the United States of America. Though both radical socialists and populists dug into their power base and proven the power of the legitimate government once more, there will be dictators read and long and no longer welcome in America. But let me know, guys, like I said earlier, should we go with American Caesar or Democracy Triumphs? Let me know in the comments below, and I apologize once again for being so ragey earlier. It's just that 
when it shows when the devs don't play their own game and realize that you know when you have half the country united against california you can't take them out early on and you try to hold out against everyone else you just get screwed especially with canada supporting them which makes some sense but at the same time doesn't make any sense at all because they're so weak compared to everything else but hey that's just me and i know the devs now hate me but you know what that's not the first time i've pissed off mod developers but regardless if you enjoyed the video which is the most important thing leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow as we will begin drastically rebuilding our army thanks for watching have a tremendous american rest of your day